Hello, everyone. Thanks very much for joining us again this afternoon. I'm here with Jessica Canham. Jessica, would you like to, to take a moment to introduce yourself? Sure. Um, hi, guys. I'm Jesse Canham. I am a senior at Connecticut College. I'm studying American Studies. Um, I went on the Cape Town or South Africa Cape Town um, Human Rights and Multiculturalism program in the spring of 2015. Um, and I'm now a senior, so I'll be graduating this spring. Thanks very much for taking some time for us this afternoon. I know uh, prospective students always like hearing from students who have been on the programs before. So let's jump right into the questions. And can you tell me what is the main reason you chose your SIT program there in Cape Town? Yeah, of course. Um, well, I was pretty sure that I wanted to study abroad in South Africa. I had had a couple professors um, that had done their graduate work in South Africa, um, and I knew that I didn't want to study abroad in Europe or through a traditional program. Um, and so what really drew me to SIT um, was the experiential learning aspect uh, of the program. So the learning not only happening in the classroom, but also outside of the classroom. And what I really liked about the Cape Town program in particular was um, the theme of human rights and multiculturalism and how it was that theme is so ingrained in the country and in um, the city itself. I really liked how I could study something that I was interested in in an area in which it was um, extremely applicable. Thanks very much for being so succinct in the answer there. <laughs> now, um, on to the next question. What key skills do you think you achieved while you uh, studied in Cape Town with your SIT program? Yeah, um, one of them I would say was adaptability. Um, so definitely part of the program is being um, immersed, especially through the homestays. And I think I definitely developed the skill of being able to be adaptable, um, be aware of where I was, what I was comfortable with, um, and kind of the other cultures that I might be experiencing, even though it's different than my own, how um, I kind of adapt in a respectful way. Um, something else also that another skill would be um, being like a team member, being able to support other people um, and allow other people to support you. We, in my um, group, it was really great. We had 25 students and we all got really close. And I think it was great to be able to talk to them about the concerns I had or what I was excited about and see how they were dealing with it um, on their own personal level. So. Thanks again for a very succinct question. So um, now I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit and ask if there, or if you could name one thing that you think you learned on SIT that you wouldn't have learned anywhere else. Sure. Um, I think definitely the last four weeks of the program that are the um, independent study project is something that I would not have received in a different program. Um, I really loved how um, my program gave us the tools throughout the beginning of the semester to develop research ideas, develop a research question, um, and really support us in what we were interested in. And then um, I felt prepared by the end of the semester to conduct my own research project. Um, I actually did a research project about racial identity um, in schools, and I wanted to interview University of Cape Town students. So I really appreciated that I got the opportunity to interview, um, you know, real students at a South African university um, and be able to talk with them and incorporate that in their experiences um, into my own research. I think that was an opportunity I wouldn't have got somewhere else. That sounds like a really exciting experience there as well. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Now, um, I'm going to, again, ask you to pick one thing out of the semester as your favorite aspect of the program. Sure. Um, what ended up being my favorite aspect, I think, was what I was most nervous about, um, which was the homestays. So that particular part of the program was what um, I think I was most nervous about going in because I didn't know what to expect, but ended up being my favorite um, aspect of the program. Um, I had so something that's also interesting with our particular program um, is that we have four homestays so you really get um, 
a sense of the diversity within South Africa since you're staying with four um, families that have very different experiences um, within Cape Town or within um, the country itself. So developing really close connections with, um, you know, like real South Africans um, and not only learning about South Africa kind of in a more academic sense, but also on a very human level um, was amazing. I, I'm still in contact with some of my homestay families. Um, yeah, that was definitely my favorite part of the program. <laughs> Four different uh, homestay families definitely gives you a cross section of uh, yeah. life in the Western Cape. Yes. <laughs> now, as you know, um, your program is was only 25 students, and that's actually one of our bigger programs because we mm -hmm. like to keep it small here. Um, but at the same time, in keeping it small, a lot of people haven't heard of SIT before. I mean, mm -hmm. we're based in Brattleboro, Vermont, which is not exactly a big city, and we have small programs. So if someone had never heard of SIT and asked you, what is SIT study abroad? How would you describe it? Yeah. Um, well, the first thing I would say is that um, it was a program that has um, an organization that has programs all across the world um, and is theme based. And so the themes um, that the program is, is very incorporated into where you are, where you're studying. Um, I would also highlight the experiential learning aspect. So not only are you having lectures from um, professors at universities in the area, but you're also going on excursions. Um, the program is more immersive than possibly other programs because you are staying in homestays. Um, and I'd also highlight the ISP aspect of the program because I think that's definitely very special to SAT. And you mentioned your ISP was um, in regards to racial identity and in regards to education in yes. um, South Africa. Have you continued mm -hmm. studies along those lines? Yeah, so um, definitely being in South Africa um, as an American studies major really allowed me to look more critically at the United States, um, especially with the very racialized pasts in both countries. I was constantly making comparisons and parallels between the two countries. Um, and so I've definitely brought my interest in racial identity um, and its relationship to education back to um, Connecticut College where I study. So I'm currently in a class um, about racial identity and um, continuing kind of questioning um, United States systems um, and how I saw them um, and how they function in South Africa as well, so. Okay, and um, are you planning on going on to any further education in the theme or the geographic location from South Africa or Africa in general? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Could you repeat it's the question? Okay. Sometimes, <laughs> even with the best technology, sometimes the, the connection doesn't go very well. So um, ha, are you planning on continuing your studies uh, along the research theme that you did or the program theme or geographically uh, as you did when you studied abroad with us? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm more making comparisons between what I saw in South Africa um, and with the United States, but I definitely um, feel very passionate and um, interested in what I learned about in South Africa, and so I definitely would want to continue research in South Africa as well. I'm very glad to hear that. So believe it or not, we've come to the end of our questions already today. It uh, helps when someone is as passionate as you to get through uh, these interviews. So I always like to ask, is there one thing that you would have liked to know when you were applying to a program that you mm -hmm. can just speak to a prospective student right now and say, hey, this is what I would have liked to know, or this is what studying abroad is like? And if so, what would that be? Yeah, um, I guess for me, I, it was really helpful for me before going on the program talking to students about their experiences because um, I think I was most nervous about the unknown and I'd want to tell students to be very open to um, basically challenging themselves. I think I was unsure if um, I could study abroad and if 
this was something I could do. And it definitely was. I think I was more prepared than I realized to um, go to South Africa. And I, yeah. Well, thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad you had such a good time. And I'm going to uh, dig through our archives and go and read your ISP there. Awesome. <laughs> Now, um, thank you again very much, and yeah, you uh, good luck with your senior year, and thank have you. a good rest of your afternoon. Thank you.